my channel and if you're new here then welcome. My name is Maddie and today I'll be watching season 2 episode 21 Fruits Basket. So this is the one that goes into Yuki's backstory and all of the characters backstories always get me so deep in my feels. So I'm excited for this one but as usual when it comes to these kinds of episodes I'm also really nervous because I'm probably going to be sad. Yeah this one is not going to be a particularly happy one but it might have a little brightness at the end of it because Yuki realizes something that is super sweet that I thought he was going to have an epiphany on last episode but it turns out it's going to be this one so it'll be really nice to see. So let's just get right into it. He was coughing there poor thing. There's going to be a lot of Akito in this one. Ain't going to be fun. Maybe Yuki in his cute little outfit. So cute. <laughs> Like it's something he can help. <laughs> Could have given him some cough drops if he really cared. <laughs> that would have helped. <laughs> the fact that he's like tearing up. Oh. I, under I understand that because isn't it like all the zodiacs fill this pool to the gods so it makes sense but at the same time he's like I'm getting bad vibes already <laughs> the fact that he said my that already tells you how this relationship is gonna go it's gonna be unhealthy as heck. <laughs> That's a curse for him. Because of who Akito is. We don't want to hang around him. Makes sense. <laughs> Didn't know. See, like, he doesn't cough as much anymore. I wonder if he's, like, on medication now. Because usually we don't see him coughing. <laughs> Unless he's has an actual cold. It's a beautiful picture. That sparked a lot of controversy, but we're gonna ignore that. I shouldn't even bring it up. <laughs> oh no, this is not what I wanna see. No, he's not. My precious boy. Akito just needed to bring someone into that that darkness. Didn't want to be alone. It's really quite sad. Like, I do feel bad for Akito, and then I'm also like, oh, I want to strangle you. <laughs> He ain't wrong, sadly. Oh. So, is he, like, spends nights there? Does he just never go home? Ugh. Not 
true. You can come to me, Yuki. I'd care for you. <laughs> I would. I would adopt him. In a heartbeat. <laughs> Look at all the babies. They're all so young. <laughs> Never even spoken to his brother. Well, we already knew that. But that's a hard concept to grasp. Like, how? Oh, is this Kyo? Yeah, it is. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> oh, no. This is gonna break my heart. No. <laughs> it's so sad. What a pretty orange color. I know, it's pretty. I wonder if he still thinks his orange hair is pretty. <laughs> No, it's the last thing he needed to hear. Ugh. Oh. It's like that's what just completely broke him. Poor thing. <laughs> I'm like trying to internalize my anger. <laughs> And she was awful. She still is, but she's getting better. But back, especially back then, my God. No, you're not. No, you're not. It gets better. <laughs> this is lies. I like how they keep panning back to the camellia blossoms. Because this is all that Alkito. <laughs> it's so funny because I knew like Yuki's childhood was bad, but now I've like, seen all this, never realize how bad it actually is. It is actually really, really bad. Why are you guys just talking about it like it's nothing? I swear these adults are so immature. School is probably way better than going home or being with Akito. I bet. Oh, I love seeing the other kids together. I wish Yuki was with them, though. <laughs> like, Yuki, I mean, um, Kyo had it bad, but at least he was able to be with everyone else. Yuki was so closed off because his mom just like, closed him off like that. And he himself just didn't feel like opening up to anyone too. <laughs> He's all, what's that? <laughs> Aw, sweetheart. It's what you deserve. But we know it all, it all went downhill. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> Did it last? Because they found out. Yeah, we know how that happened. Mm. 
and he just lost them all. And he didn't even try to make friends with them again. I th think that's also because, like, as we've heard, that the memories are only suppressed. They can come back. So maybe the, like, Hotry told him, like, don't talk to them again. <laughs> it's so sad. Oh, for a child to go through that, especially. Then Akito just making the whole situation worse. Oh. It's interesting that they just keep going back to the camellias. That has to symbolize something. It's I'm just not clicking with it yet. <laughs> I'll understand it later. <laughs> Oh, the hat. We're going back to it. Oh, <laughs> he hugged his shishu. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't ready for any of this like really was it I need a happy episode like I'm really not feeling a sad episode today at all I don't want it and yet I'm here I am watching it so like <laughs> I brought this on myself <laughs> like Thank God he did it. It's all the stress too, that's what made it worse. They took a trip while their child was sick. Am I surprised this is these parents? <laughs> I'm not surprised any anymore at all. And what's that got to do with Yuki? <laughs> uh, they just look like they all just love the gossip and it it drives me crazy. Like, don't just spread all this around like it's nothing. Wait, his mom said that? I mean Kyo's mom. I like missed the whole context of this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm slow. <laughs> slow at reading subtitles. <laughs> Gave him a stress ball. He needs it. Sorry if I'm making jokes, I'm just trying to make light of this whole situation, okay? <laughs> no, he won't. But you know who is gonna take it? It's little Toru. <laughs> Aww. He doesn't want to bring status to Kyo. I forgot that he felt that way. Oh. And then Kyo, in turn, is has also thought the same thing. If I went away, like everyone would be happier, probably. They don't know how alike they are to each other. It's ugh. I just wish they'd talk it out. So, nope, not today, sir. <laughs> How did it burst? 
Oh, uh, he must have, like, vented or something. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is where it, where it all started. This is where things became brighter for him. Okay. We're getting to the happy stuff now. Go save little Toru. She needs you. She needs a hero. <laughs> It was just fate. <laughs> you see how cold it is too? Like he really shouldn't be out because the cold makes it worse for him. Oh my God. <laughs> Poor Kyoko. <laughs> Not gonna, not gonna help. <laughs> um, cute. Others like. <laughs> not everyone perceives cute the same way. <laughs> oh my gosh, his face. <laughs> She's scary. Yeah, that's what a normal mom is like. Like yours. Oh yeah. We saw her. I I did see her when he passed, but I was talking. <laughs> but I did see her. Oh <laughs> baby. I love seeing them all as babies together. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep going. You let her get really close <laughs> in the future. Oh, so not good for his lungs. <laughs> and she never she never knew it was him oh <laughs> so cute <laughs> I don't like seeing her cry but <laughs> it's alright he changed it was a lot useful. You saved her. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> That's precious. Oh, isn't that the best feeling? Seriously, I want to cry. <laughs> Try not to. She never forgot. She didn't know who it was. She didn't know it was you, but she never forgot. It's amazing. He went to do some hero work. He, like, reflected on all of that in just a few minutes. <laughs> it's so nice that he was able to open up to Kakaru already. He wouldn't have been able to do this a year ago. so emotional. <laughs> Happens. It's 
it's okay. This boy needs a hug. <laughs> My heart is breaking. I hate this. <laughs> okay, that's the final straw for me. That's what just broke me <laughs> above everything else. <laughs> oh. She's the mom friend. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Beloved. Aw. <Aww. laughs> there it is. We finally know. We finally know what their true relationship is. And I can finally say that the Yukiru uh, the Yukiru ship has sunk. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that's not what I want. Okay. I don't know where that's from. Whose voice was that? I I still hate like I I've been watching the sub for weeks and I still cannot recognize their voices when I like I don't know who's talking I hate it I think it's I think that's Kyo's voice I think so I just I really want to refer to my manga because I don't know where it's from but I think the Cinderella play and all of that like the planning for it is continuing the next one I think that's where it's going but I probably will check the manga just in case. I think I found the scene where it's from and oh my gosh I forgot this scene was coming up but I love this scene so oh I'm really excited now. Lots of good stuff in the next one like oh the Cinderella chapters they're just so freaking good. They're so good <laughs> just like everything leading up to it. There's drama, there's comedy, there's one scene also between Kyo and Toru that they better not cut because I cannot handle another Kyo scene cut. I will, I will like start a fire up in here, I'd be so mad. So like do not cut that scene anime, please don't cut it. It's so freaking precious. Like it doesn't have a lot of importance to the overall plot, but it's important to the relationship. So keep it please. Okay. But anyway, let's talk about the episode. So it was really sad. So like as we saw, so I wasn't in the best mood to watch it, especially right now. So, yeah, I was not in the mood for a sad episode. Like I'm glad that the next one is going to be a little more happy, but this one is so hard hitting. It's just the backstories are so hard to watch because they're so sad. It's it's horrible that Yuki felt so alone during his childhood. He had friends, he lost them because they found out about his curse, and Akito made him feel unimportant. Then we have Kyo yelling at him, telling him that he hates him, which I am going to touch on that because although I feel like it's so clear, I don't know why there are some people who think this, but some fans do judge Kyo for yelling at him and being mean to him like that but he was a child and he was manipulated by the Soma family to hate the rat. It is not his fault that he told Yuki that he hates him. It was not his fault that he made Yuki feel bad because he was manipulated. That is the key word. So it really bothers me when others blame him for talking to Yuki like that. It was not his fault at all and we see later on that at some point he does feel bad about it and he grows from it so i don't want to hear from here on out anyone blaming kyo for treating yuki like that because he's not to blame if you're gonna blame someone blame the soma family for manipulating a child into hating another child like the, that's who you should be putting the blame on not a literal child okay i just had to say that because i've heard it before i heard it 
a few days ago and it just bugs me so much because I'm like, no, he's just a kid. He's a kid who's confused, who's been manipulated, like I said, so let's cut him some slack. The other thing, like I said during the ending there, when <laughs> I forgot Yuki said this, it's when he says, like, I wanted to be friends with him, which he was talking about Kyo. I felt that so freaking bad because even in present day, he's still saying that. He's like, I wished we could have been friends. Like, that's what he actually wanted. That's why he went up to Kyo when they were kids and was trying to be friendly until Kyo told him off. And it's just really heartbreaking that he was like, I wish we could have gotten along. It does make me wonder how different their relationship would be if they were not Somas and were not under a curse. They probably would have become friends. So that's just the heartbreaking part. It's the curse is just to blame for their potential relationship falling apart. But it was so sweet of him to say, like, I wish we could be friends. I wish we could have. Like, I want them to be friends. These are two characters that I absolutely love so much. Of course, I want them to get along. And they might someday. I will not spoil anything on that. I'm so happy that as the story progresses, Yuki just grows so much. He gets more confident. And a lot of that has to do with Toru and him just being a mother figure to him, which was revealed in this episode. Finally, he just found a mother in her because he didn't have a mother when he was growing up. He did, but she was no mother to him. She sold him off to Akito. So she was basically not a mother at all. He didn't have a mother figure, but he found one in Toru because she encouraged him to do better. She was always there for him, always listening to his problems. She just has everything to offer like a mother would and Yuki clung to that and he appreciates that. So we now know that he does not see her in a romantic way, but rather he sees her as a mother. And I know that if you are a Yuki and Toru shipper, that this might come as a disappointment, but I'm hoping at the same time, if you were rooting for them, you do understand and appreciate the relationship that they have that is more of a familial relationship. I think even though their relationship isn't romantic, I feel like they work better in a more familial sense. Like their chemistry together as like this figurative mother to him comes across more smoothly than a romantic one. I just personally feel like they don't have any romantic chemistry at all but they have this chemistry as friends that is really, really beautiful. So please, if you're gonna take anything from this episode, if you were a Yukiru shipper, please at least try to understand that their relationship as it is just works really, really well. It's just, personally to me, it's written really well. And I think that's all I wanted to say. Ugh. Like I said, sad episode, but I love Yuki, so it was still a good one. And it was nice to see all the characters as babies in the past. They were so adorable. Uh, I just, I want to adopt every single one of them. Before I do go, I do want to say that I am really sorry that I have not uploaded a video in a week. It's been a really long time it feels like usually I upload three to four videos a week but I've been feeling really out of sorts lately and I still kind of am and I still feel like that is showing through this video I just have not had a lot of motivation to do anything recently and it's just because I've been feeling so down these times we're living in it's just been really hard to deal with like these days I feel so isolated like in my own bubble that it gets me a little depressed honestly and I know a lot of people are feeling that way nowadays so I know I'm not the only one which I don't want anyone else to feel that way but it is nice to know that I'm not the only one going through it it's just the world we're living in right now is so scary it's so different than to how it was in March before this all went down and it's been really really getting to me lately and because of that it's been really affecting my motivation to do anything lately like I've just been in bed just sleeping that's it but I am hoping to come back on here really soon like officially I only came back for my fruits basket reaction because no matter what fruits basket is always going to make me motivated and happy so I came back for it, but I am hoping to come back to my regular schedule really, really soon. I'm just trying to take it a little easy right now, so please just 
bear with me because I'm still trying to get out of this funk that I'm in. But anyway, I'll be back next Monday with my reaction to episode 22. So if you're interested, then you should look out for it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more anime related videos and anime reactions. Even though I'm semi on a break right now, but like I said, I hope to be back officially really, really soon. <laughs> and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.